guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be testing out and reviewing the new Pat McGrath Concealer and Under Eye Setting Powder. I had like mixed feelings on this, so if you wanna see how they perform and how I felt about it, then please keep watching. I'm using the new Tasha Primer. I've been loving this. This is the new Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. And I like to focus it in the center of my face first and then just kind of blend everything out. This one has been working for me a lot better than the original um, Tatcha primer, which was the, you know, silk canvas in the little tub where you scraped it. It was more of a heavier consistency that fills in your pores. I still find that this one fills in my pores and makes my makeup look smooth, but my makeup goes on better on top of it. With the other one, my makeup wouldn't stick like around here on the nose area when I'd use it. So I'm really, really loving this one. For my foundation today, I'm gonna mix the two. This is my Tom Ford foundation stick in 6.5 and the Armani Luminous Silk also in 6.5. So what I'm gonna do is swipe the foundation stick on my face first and then blend it out with this. If you guys haven't seen me do this combo before, it's so good. Um, I like the full coverage of the Tom Ford foundation stick. It also is very natural, but then when you put the Armani Luminous Silk, it just makes it look like skin and super like dewy and hydrated. Today, I'm also gonna be showing you guys the new Dose of Colors Beauty Sponge. I got the jumbo one, so it's pretty huge. Um, I did wanna dedicate like a separate video to this, but I'm so tired of like not trying it with all these other videos I had planned, so we're just gonna try this as well. I'm gonna put my foundation directly onto the sponge, and I'm obsessed because I love how huge this is. I feel like it's gonna blend out so fast. So far I'm loving the sponge. I like the huge surface area like I said, and it seems to blend pretty quickly, which is always great. I'm trying to figure out if it absorbs a lot of my product because I don't really have like a full coverage on here, but I can always add more if needed. I really like the way it feels on my skin. I've been actually loving the Tati Beauty Blendiful to do my foundation. If you haven't seen my video on that, go check it out, it's amazing. I'm really loving this sponge. I like how huge it is so that my big old hand can like grab it and I can just blend quickly and just tap, tap, tap all over the face. If you already have like a million beauty sponges, I don't think it's necessary to like run out and buy this, but the next time you do replace your sponge, I would definitely try this one. Okay, for our little main attraction, this is a Pat McGrath Labs concealer and I got the shade LM9. In my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I'm in the shade Light Beige and I swatched it on my hand in Sephora and I compared all the Pat McGrath concealers and this to me was the closest. So if you're light beige like me in the Too Faced concealer, you'll be LM9 in the Pat McGrath one. And also in Shape Tape, I'm Light Medium Honey. So it will be close to LM9 as well. I really love that the packaging is glass. This has 0.16 fluid ounces. And let's see, it has like a flat applicator. So let's see, I've seen this on other people and it looked really, really good. So far I can tell it's super full coverage. It has a really good creamy consistency. And I really like the color with my foundation. Let's try to do one side first because I'm not sure how quickly this dries and I don't want to put it here and then it look all weird. So I'm going to try the Dose of Color sponge. I'm going to squeeze it and use this side. This could also be a problem because I'm not sure um, about the sponge because I've never used it on my under eyes, like if it gives less coverage. It doesn't look super full coverage, so I'm going to try the other side with my normal Fenty Beauty sponge that I use and see if that makes a difference in the coverage, or if not, I'll just build the coverage. So I'm going to do this side now. It looks like it's really, really full coverage, like almost more than Shape Tape. And I have heard that from a lot of people that it's a good full coverage, so I don't know if that sponge absorbs a lot of my product. So this is the Fenty Beauty Sponge. I love this one. I always use this one. It has like a really nice flat edge and then it has the round egg on the back. This one's everything out so smooth. So yeah, it's definitely a lot more coverage with my normal sponge that I use. This sponge, it just like never really absorbs the product, which is amazing. And then it never leaves any harsh edges around here. Yeah, this looks really good. It looks like really airbrushed and bright. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I'm gonna do one more layer on this side just to match them. Just like a little bit. And also if you ever needed more coverage, I'm sure you could build this too, but it's pretty full coverage. Yeah, I really love it with this sponge. You could even use a brush. So let's just do a tiny bit here and here. 
So I'm super into how this looks. So now let's set it. I got the Pat McGrath setting powder. So this says Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. And I got the shade light because I wasn't sure if medium would be bright enough for me. I'm hoping I can just get away with setting it with this today and not using my normal MAC Studio Fix powder. So to set this, I'm going to use my favorite Morphe brush that I normally use to set my under eyes. This is the Morphe M554. And here's what it looks like. It's like a nice mineralized dome. And it just looks kind of like white on here. But I tried the medium on my hand and I wasn't sure if it was going to be bright enough for me. This is supposed to airbrush it and make it look super smooth. So let's see. To me, it doesn't look as bright now as this side because of it being like super matte. It doesn't look like it brightens at all. I liked how it looked without this setting powder. I don't really see a difference in this powder than a regular translucent. Um, it feels like super soft, but I don't look any brighter and I don't know. I still can kind of see like the texture that I have under my eyes, so I am going to still put my MAC Studio Fix over it just a little bit. This is definitely the brightness I need because I'm so dark under the eyes. So I'm going to have to like get to the end of my makeup and see what I think about the concealer and the setting powder. I'm now going to set my whole face with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder in the shade Carrots. I love using this. I've been using this almost like every day to set my entire face. I have the brush. It's J01. This is a brush they made to go with this. But with me setting my whole face, if you see, it would just be like kind of almost like a highlighting brush for me. But let's try it instead of our big brush. Because I bought it and then like I never use it. So Okay, now I'm going to use my bronzer. This is the Matte Give Me Sun. Today I'm going to use my Smashbox slanted brush to put on my bronzer. And I'm kind of like contouring with it, but I'm just trying to warm up my face because I need it to self tan. But I'm waiting because I have microneedling on my chest this week, so I can't tan until after. But it is raining outside, the sun is not out, it is cold. So I need all the bronzer I can get. Of course, I want to take Hoola from Benefit and I'm going to contour my cheeks with it. I did derma planning on myself, which is like when you kind of shave your skin to exfoliate and get rid of all the little peach fuzz. And I cut myself in so many places, like twice on my nose. Here on my lip, here on my forehead. <laughs> it was a new one because I replaced the head on it, so I'm like. Okay, before my blush, I'm gonna do my highlight. This is the Jaclyn Hill Flash Highlighter Palette. I love using my Morphe brush to do this. This is the Morphe R36, and I just like mixing all the colors together and doing this here. My skin has been doing so bad lately, so it's really textured, so I don't even know why I'm doing highlight, but whatever. It's fine. I like doing it before my blush so that when I put on my blush, everything just blends in really nice and you don't just have the highlighter sitting on there. For my blush, I'm using my MAC Floor Power. This is like my all-time favorite blush. And honestly, all my other videos, I was using the Tati Blenderful to do my blush and my highlight because it's so, so, so good. But I'm just trying to switch it up for you guys. But I would highly recommend that to do your highlight and your blush. It sounds so weird to do it with the powder puff, but it came out so good. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush False Finish Powder in the shade 2, and I'm just going to kind of like clean up under my blush. I haven't been doing this recently, and like I really miss how clean it looks. And I'm going to just wipe this off. Okay, to set our face, I'm going to use a Morphe Setting Mist. So as far as now, um, my thoughts on the concealer, I don't see a huge difference in like what I normally use. I love the Shape Tape. I love the Too Faced Concealer. I feel like those are just my top two favorites, even the MAC for Longwear. This one, it gave like an okay coverage, but I didn't really care for the setting powder. So I don't know if it's worth the switch for me personally, but everyone's skin is so different. So you'd have to try out the product for yourself to see if it could work for you. Just because I say it doesn't work for me or it's not my favorite, it could be your absolute favorite. So I don't want to discourage anyone from trying it. So now I want to do my brows, my little usual duo. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown. To set my brows, I'm going to use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Gel. I haven't been to my brow girl in so long, so my eyebrows look so crazy. Um, and right now with this crazy coronavirus going on, everything's closed, so I can't get my brow appointment, which is not important in the scheme of life, but just explaining why my brows are crazy. Today for eyes, I'm going to use my favorite palette. This is my Dose of Colors Friendcation palette. I just want to do like a quick, cute little brown smoky eye. 
something natural and quick. Um, I haven't been using this for a while, at least I don't think I have, because I was using it so often I didn't want to like annoy anybody, but it's kind of like the best palette ever, so I miss her and I need to use her. This palette can get you like so many different looks. If you guys haven't heard of this or looked at it before or bought it, like please go get this. It's amazing. Um, I can do like such a quick little neutral smoky eye with this, but look really well put together. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing this neutral brown here with this shade here. I'm going to put that in my crease. Watch. You'll see how quick it is to do this eye. And like, yes, it's edited, but you'll see that it's not that many steps and you could easily do this. So I just mix those two shades together in my crease and I just blend them back and forth, back and forth until there's no hard edges. I go back and forth, but I also kind of go like in a circle. And you just want to bring it up a little bit past your crease so your eye looks kind of like open. So that's that eye, that's just the crease. If you guys hear any noise, sorry, it's like pouring super hard right now. It's been raining in LA for like a week straight. It's unusual for LA, but I think that we need it, so it's fine. But on my roof, it's like making a weird noise, so I don't know, it's really loud. Okay, so this is just a two shades mixed in the crease. So now for the lid, I'm just gonna take this dark brown one here and I'm just gonna pack that onto my lid. This is like super fast if you wanna look glam but you don't have time or you just kinda want to be still on the more natural side. I love doing this with browns. So I just come right up to the crease and I also go into the inner corner. And then once it's on there, I take my crease brush and I just kinda like tilt my head back and I just blend at the edges. And you can always go over and like tap on the lid if it lifts it, but you just want the edges to be blended from where you put the darker shade. I'm gonna do this to the other side now. So now on the bottom, I'm gonna take the same crease shades and just blend it a little bit. When I do a heavier smoky eye like this, I like to have like little to nothing on the bottom. Um, I'll put a little bit like this just to bring it like together, but I don't like it to be heavy on the bottom and the top, unless you're gonna like be going out at night. I just like to bring it in on the edges. I'm gonna take my favorite shade cookie. It's the Benefit Highlighter. And I love this as my inner corner like every single day. So I just pop it in there to brighten it up. It kind of just pulls any look together. Like you could have one shade on your lid and put this on and you'll look like you spent a lot of time on your makeup. And then I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit here on the little brow arch. So for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Liner in Shady. This is called set the tone cream eye color and I'm gonna use my Mac little slanted brush you can use this for brows or eyeliner and I'm not gonna do a heavy line on this eye because it is pretty dramatic but I just want to like line it so that my lash line pops and my eye pops so I'm just pressing into the lash line so now I'm just gonna do my mascara and lashes and I'll be right back okay my lashes are on these are my favorite these are Lily lashes in Miami and I love how it kind of like gives you that lifted cat eye effect and they're dramatic enough but you can still see like your shadow and everything going on so I love this kind of like natural brown smoky eye so lastly for our lips I want to use the Keki W Nude 2.5. I want to do like a really nice brown nude lip to go with this. These are so creamy. If you guys haven't tried these lip pencils, you have to. Okay, liner's on. And for the lipstick, I'm going to use my favorite Charlotte Tilbury in Nude Kate. And for the gloss, I'm going to use the Keki W Gloss. It's the Mario collab called Proud of You. It's like a super nude brown. So that is it for today. I hope that you guys love this look. My final thoughts on the Pat McGrath concealer and setting powder was I'd probably pass on it. It wasn't for me and my under eye needs. Um, I do need a lot of coverage. I do need my texture covered. And the under eye powder didn't give me the brightness I needed or airbrushing of the texture. And the concealer was really good, but I feel like it's pretty comparable to my Shape Tape or my Too Faced Born This Way. Um, if you do want to try it yourself, I would recommend just going to Sephora and trying it out. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. If you plan on trying the concealer or you already have, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you liked it or if you're going to pick it up. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.